Whether you believe in the paranormal or you are just the average skeptic, you can't deny that the following five places are pretty weird, if not downright spooky. Here are the top five most active haunted places in America. Number five. Waverly Hill Sanatorium, Louisville, Kentucky. Opened in 1926, the Waverly Hill Sanatorium was home to patients who suffered from the incurable disease tuberculosis. Hundreds of patients died at the hospital, and their last stop was down what is now known as the Body Chute. An entity known as the Creeper climbs the walls and ceilings and stalks visitors. Phantom footsteps, ghostly apparitions, and haunting voices can all be experienced at Waverly Hill Sanatorium. Number four, the Queen Mary, Long Beach, California. The Queen Mary, initially a luxury travel liner, turned troop ship during the outbreak of World War II. The troop ship would later become known as the Grey Ghost. After more than a thousand transatlantic crossings, the Queen Mary was docked for good at Long Beach Harbor. Today, guests who stay at the Ocean Liner Hotel experience a little more than they bargained for. With 49 reported deaths, and memories of the terror of war. The Queen Mary is home to more than just a handful of spirited guests. A little girl clutches her teddy bear while women in the 1930 swim attire walk the deck of the pool. Children crying, knocks, bangs, and door slams are what awaits you at the Queen Mary. Remember to be friendly to your unwelcome guests. <laughs> Number three, Highway 666, New Mexico, the Devil's Highway. Highway 666, now renamed as U.S. Route 491, is considered the most famous road in North America. Stretching over approximately 200 miles, this roadway has seen an unusual high number of accidents and fatalities. Hounds of Hell. Witnesses say beast-like dogs are seen running beside their cars no matter the speed. Vehicles are chased by a black sedan. Your car won't start? Reports have said many witnesses have experienced vehicle difficulty on this stretch of highway. An evil 
evil spirit is in my truck aims to make drivers crash. Disappearances without a trace of evidence, then reappears days or hours later with no recollection of time or events that have occurred. Skinwalkers warn travelers to detour from the highway. If you ignore their warning, they might just end up in your back seat. Buckle up, buttercup. Number two, Sally House, Atchison, Kansas. Deborah and Tony Pickman lived in the Sally House from 1992 to 1994. During this time, the couple made quite a disturbing find when they noticed strange happenings going on around their house. Well-hung pictures turned upside down. Strangely melted candles and burnt finger marks, multiple photo anomalies, and actual sightings of a little girl. The Sally House got its name from a former tenant who said that their daughter had an imaginary friend named Sally. When Tony Pickman drew a picture of the girl he had seen, the tenant's daughter identified her as Sally. Tony Pickman discovered burnt marks on his wrist after dreaming of a little girl pulling him forcefully out of bed. Other physical attacks have been documented by a television show. Little Sally, want to play? Number one, the Stanley Hotel, Estes Park, Colorado. The Stanley is a 140-room hotel approximately five miles from the entrance to Rocky Mountain National Park. It's the original inspiration for Stephen King's novel, The Shining. Several apparitions are said to have been spotted by guests staying the night, including the ghost of the former owners of the hotel. Disembodied voices, phantom footsteps in the hallways and rooms, a piano playing echoes through the ballroom. Ghostly children play in the hallways at night. Impressions of bodies and beds that have been unoccupied. Unseen hands pull on your clothing, and when you awake in the morning, your blankets are neatly folded. Lights switch on and off, and doors open and shut by themselves. Staying the night at the Stanley Hotel. Don't be frightened. They're just dead. <laughs>